So we got some rather unfortunate news for Chicago uh, Red Stars fans regarding their defender, Sarah Gordon. Sarah Gordon, uh, she just came out and she said that she was rac- her and her boyfriend, they were racially profiled by a Houston security guard. Um, so basically the Chicago Red Stars were playing the uh, Houston Dash. And in a tweet, she said, and I quote, my boyfriend came to our game against Houston Dash. After the game, he came down the steps to talk to me. We were immediately before he was close to me followed by security and told he would be arrested if he came close. Meanwhile, white players were talking to white families all over the stadium. And she, and again, she said that she didn't believe it was like racial, uh, she was being racially profiled until she saw um, all the other white players talking to their families um, as well. And there are a couple of quotes. She said also, and I quote, this is just another reason why we kneel. And then um, the league, they said, and I quote, The league will have no additional comments regarding the current investigation prior to its completion and has asked the respective clubs to refrain from commenting further as well, which I find very, uh, I I find that um, very interesting that the league uh, is going to make no more additional comments to this. And then last but not least, Red Stars assistant coach Scott Peterson, he also uh, made a quote. He said, and I quote, I wasn't upset that it was one of our players. I was upset that the only people being harassed were people of color. And um, I just want to say that she's also getting a lot of, uh, she's also being backed up by a lot of uh, of her pairs, including Megan Rapinoe, who, you know, out of all like women athletes right now, she is the most uh, spoke, she's the one that spoke out, that has spoken out against, you know, um, certain injustices like Black Lives Matter. And like, like, obviously she's been talking about Black Lives Matter and like equal pay for women. So it's pretty good to have somebody like her, you know, backing you up. And before I pass it on to Unit, I just want to say this article was written by ESPN Associated Press. So I'll start for you, Nate. Your thoughts. First of all, I apologize to Sarah Gordon and her boyfriend that they had to experience something like this. Personally, this is something that I heat the mic up on, but the only reason why I'm not is because it's like 10.30 in the morning and I'm like half asleep. So I want to try and refrain from yelling and not wake everybody up in the house. But look. This really shouldn't be something I have to talk about on camera. Really, really, any, really anybody at that. I am getting sick of the racism in this world. I am, Mario, everybody. Stop hating on people for their skin color. That's not our choice. That's just how we were born. You were born black. That's not our choice. You were born white. That's not our choice. You were born biracial. That ain't a choice. Why you got to hate them for that? You want to hate on somebody because they're an athlete? Well, go right ahead, you know, whatever, fine. But why you gotta why you gotta hate on somebody because of their skin color and 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 abuse them for it? What's the point? What are you getting out of that? Real, like really, this isn't something I don't want. I like this is a topic that really irks me. It really irks a lot of people too, especially me, given that I'm a man of color. But it, it's so unnecessary in a world where. Racism is such a hot topic. And not to mention, this dude's a security guard. Like, come on now. These people are supposed to protect us, not 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 freaking abuse us because, oh, we're black. Seriously? We got cops out here shooting up black people on the streets. We don't need y'all doing this shit, too. And excuse me for my language, but I deserve a pass. Because this is, this is a topic that really irks me. I'm sorry, but this, this is unnecessary. It, it really is. As for the league itself, Mario. I think they're going to get a lot of backlash from that. I, re- I really do because, because you know, you got all these other sports leagues speaking out about racism, and when stuff like this happens, they stand together and they talk about it, but the league is just willing to shut it out. Personally, Mario, I think the league's going to get a lot of backlash from that. I, re- I personally do. I don't know why they said that. Maybe there is a reason, but it doesn't really say, but when I look at it, it's just like, yeah, people aren't gonna like how they how they responded to that. They could have done a lot better. But um, but with that being said, you know, I I really don't want to talk about this no more because I'm I'm really irked out by this. So with that being said, you know, I do apologize to Sarah Gordon and her boyfriend that this had to happen, and I wish him the best of luck moving forward. Yeah. Well, before I start, I just want to say again, apologies to Sarah Gordon and her boyfriend for what they had to go through. Um, yeah, see, Nate, I, see, I'm looking at, like, the situation, and, like, I could, and if it were a point to where, like, no players were in the stadium, you know, like, obviously players weren't with their families yet, and Sarah, and Sarah Gordon's boyfriend was coming down, I can understand why the security guard would be cautious, you know, as a security guard, you know, you do have to be cautious in certain cases, because, you know, your job is to protect, you know, your job is to make sure nothing wrong goes, happens during a game, or after a game, or before, you get my point? 
But like the fact that like all the families were over there in the stadium and the fact that like he was trying to get down as well. Like, see, that just, it, it shows you like, you know, like it, it shows you like the security guard really messed up here. And even if like he didn't even know that was her boyfriend, still, you see all these other families. Now, there's so many pe- people that look different in this world. How do you know that that was their families? You know, when they were coming down the steps, you know, you don't, but you let them down anyway. You know, and then when Sarah Gordon's boyfriend wanted to come down, you didn't let her. You didn't, I mean, you didn't let him, excuse me. So, yeah, I can definitely see this as like a race issue. I think it definitely might be. You know, I think it's going to be, and, and again, we don't know the further details. You know, again, this is all the details we have. But judging from what we have right here, we got to go by what we have, Nate. This was like a race issue to me, you know. All these, all, all the other families get to go and get to go and uh, all the other players get to go and talk to their families, you know. And Sarah Gordon's boyfriend can't, and, and he just so happens to be a man of color. You know, I don't really think that's a coincidence, you know. Um, it's Yeah, man, I mean, again, yeah, but I do agree with you, you know. We live in a world where, like, we live in a world where race is a big, big issue, you know especially what's going on in this world now. And, and it seems like every single day, there's always something, you know, it, it, it really, it is, it is tough, you know, and I, and the, but the one thing that annoys me the most is the league doesn't want to comment no more on this. That's the one thing that annoys me even more than the problem is that the league is telling like it's players, like um, is asking their players like to refrain from commenting on this. Like really? So you're going to tell, so they, there could be another woman soccer player out there who has a problem with it or even another. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the woman soccer player because it is the women's soccer league, you know, and that's, who's telling them not to do it. There could be another woman soccer player has a problem with this or another soccer player has a problem with this and they're not allowed to talk this to comment over it. First of all, let me tell you something. I uh, Let me go back to what I said earlier, going back to Megan Rapinoe and how she's like stuck up for like uh, ish, uh, situations in the U S like this like this, like equal pay, you're not going to shut up Megan Rapinoe. It's as simple as that. Megan Rapinoe is going to talk. She's, she's going to talk about this. She's going to, I, I feel like she will speak out about it. You know, you're not going to shut, it's, it's, you're not going to shut her up, you know? So, and, and, and she shouldn't shut up, you know, and, we, and credit her, she shouldn't, she shouldn't be quiet about stuff like this because these are, these are actual issues and these are her opinions and everybody has the right to speak their opinion. So, yeah, looking at the situation, Nate, from the details that I have, unless anything else further comes out, which most likely it won't because the league don't want to comment on it. Looking at this case, yeah, the security guard really did mess up here, you know, and it is really messed up that all these other players got to go see their families and got to go spend time with them and Sarah Gordon couldn't, you know, like, it's just really messed up. And, I, and, I'm in, and I'm in college and I've worked games, you know, and like I never really, I never worked soccer games, but football wise, when the games are all over, Families come on the field, they hug their they hug their relatives and everything like that. That stuff happens, you know. There's no security guard stopping them from hugging their relatives or whatever. Same thing with basketball games. When basketball games are over, basketball players, they're hugging their relatives, their loved ones, everything like that. Baseball, they're going and they're talking, they're interacting with people in the in, in the in the stands and everything like that after the game. So you know, interacting with players, fans interacting with players was never really an issue. So the fact that the security guard had an issue with this when all the other players were talking to their families, he, I think he really messed up. And I think that security guard uh, is going to pay consequences, you know? So with that being said, Nay, I'm not going to ramble on about this. I just want to get, say again, I'm sorry to Sarah Gordon and her boyfriend for what they had to experience. And come on, people, let's just treat each other equal. It's as simple as that.